But you don't want me to say nobody else And I don't want you to say nobody But you ain't my boyfriend What's up guys, it's Monty Sensation and I'm back with another video. So today, as you guys can tell by the title, I'm going to be teaching you guys how I achieved these neat rope slash Havana twists, whatever you want to call them. It's like the twists that don't start off with a braid. So, let's get into it. So the supplies that I will be using is this Shine and Jam, this Eco Styler, the Black Castor Oil one, and these rubber bands. So, first I'm starting off by applying the Shine and Jam and Eco Styler to the hair. You don't have to use both, and when I did my hair, I only used the Shine and Jam, but I wanted to make sure that these parts were nice, neat, and clean, so I just decided to use both. Okay, now on to starting the actual twist. So you're going to start by splitting the hair into two sections, just as you would for a normal twist. And then you're going to get the braiding hair and put it on top in the middle. So basically what you're doing is twisting the real hair with the braiding hair. So I'm tw as you can see, I'm twisting the hair to the left and I'm twisting both sides of the hair to the left. Make sure you twist. You can twist really any way you want to the right or left, but just make sure it's the same direction. And then when you actually want to start the twist, you're going to use your left hand and switch the two sections of hair so I hope you guys are understanding this basically what you're doing you're twisting both sides of the hair just to blend the hair together twisting it either to the right or left doesn't really matter but once you start the twist you're going to rotate the hair in the opposite direction also another tip that I want you guys to know is that when you're twisting the hair it's basically like you're doing a normal two strand twist but in the middle, do not forget to twist the hair as you're twisting. So use your right hand to twist your hair and use your left hand to rotate the hair. So you're only really twisting the hair with your right hand and just switch hands, switch sides with your hand. So this is the amount of braiding hair I'm using for each twist. And also, another thing you need to make sure, as you can see, I'm doing a little bit here, is feather the hair because this is a big part. If you want the ends of your hair to slowly fade out and not stop abruptly, then you need to make sure you feather your hair. If you don't know how to feather hair, there's like plenty of videos you could look up, but basically you're just pulling the ends of the hair. This can also add length to the twist if you want it longer, but yeah. So uh, here I am showing you guys again. My hand is kind of in the way. I'm sorry about that. But as you can see, I'm twisting the hair before I actually move the hair. I would recommend twisting it at least two times and then twist. Because if you do not twist the hair before you actually rotate the hair, the twist will be loose and messy and more likely to fall out. Another tip I want to share is that once you get to the end of the person's real hair, you want to add just a little bit more shine and jam. I would not suggest using as much gel as you get to the end of the person's hair because that will just make it curl up. But shine and jam just makes it sleek and tacky so you have better grip. So yeah, once you get to the end of the person's hair, don't forget to add more shine and jam so it will blend better. Now getting into how to actually end off the twist. There's plenty of methods you could use. You could use the knot method, but my favorite method when doing this twist, which this is actually only my second time doing this twist, but my favorite method is to just twist the hair all the way to the bottom until you only have like maybe one or two inches left and then just add a rubber band and you're done. Or if you want to be extra secure, you can add the rubber band and then keep twisting all the way down and then just dip the ends in hot water. That, if you like that look, or you can just leave the ends of the hair just out and normal. It's really up to you which one you wanna do. I tried the knot method on these twists, but I just feel like the rubber band method is more secure. But in the end, it's whatever you wanna do. Another side note is that this is my second time ever doing these twists. So as you can see on my hair, that was my first time ever doing it. 
and as you can see from the second time it got way better so just know that practice like with anything will make it better and easier okay I'm just gonna let you guys watch me finish up a couple more and I'll come back with the finished product So this is the finished product. She really liked the hair. A lot of people complimented her and said that it looked very professional. So yeah, I think it turned out really good also. Let me know if you guys should try this out and send me pictures on my Instagram. So yeah, don't forget you guys are truly sensational and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.